Lots of you guessed correctly, this is sagebrush or Artemisia tridentata. The tridentata comes from the three lobes at the end of the leaf. That's kind of the tridentata, three dents. So that's sagebrush. This is sagebrush. There were a few of you that misidentified sagebrush as a tumbleweed or assumed that both were interchangeable and they're not. Sagebrush is native to the Western United States and it's quite flammable. Um, if, it, if there was a wildfire that went through and burned sagebrush, unfortunately that would be super detrimental to the sagebrush because they don't bounce back very easy. And it takes a really long time for these things to grow. So don't get it mixed up with tumbleweed. Tumbleweed is not native to the US, even though it's in like every Western movie that you ever watch, you see this tumbleweed that tumbles past. That's a non-native plant and it is quite invasive. If you haven't smelled the sagebrush, Honestly, it is one of the better smells. It's so good. It survives these desert climates by sending down a tap root that's been observed down to 13 feet deep, which is pretty incredible. Awesome job to those that identified this correctly. We'll jump into another plant and I'll see you in the next one. I should also state, like many of you had said, this is a tick magnet. Uh, the deer eat and forage on these throughout the winter and the deer carry ticks. Ticks jump on the bush. If you go climb through the bush, you're probably gonna get ticks on you. So if you're around these bushes real close, check for ticks.